YouTubers back. Thank you. Welcome back to Yorkshire 166. I'm Mark, your host, your presenter, and hopefully I'm here to entertain you. This is what I always say. This is what I'm trying to do. Now, the funny thing is, a friend of mine on my Facebook messaging group, he's, he's called Lee, you know, Lee Roberts and that, and he's a great guy. He, he really is. He's a very good friend. Um, he, he basically asked me a question, and this, and, and I've got the question here, and I've got the answer what I gave him. Now, do you think if you went back in the past, the past is infinite? Right. So my answer to that is, is the past and the future is infinite on your own timeline. So if you could travel on your own timeline, you know, from ninety, you know, say my own timeline would be. 1966 to 2021 at the moment, because the future is not set at the moment. Um, but the future is infinite. It will always be infinite. It will always go on forever. But your past is as infinite as you are, basically. So, in that means that you can go as far back as when you were born, you know, up to the date you were born, 1966 or whatever. And then... And then it says, if the past is infinite, how did we get to today? Well, like I say, on your own timeline, travelling in between your own timeline, the past is only as infinite as what it can be. Because, yeah, this is my answer to this. Because the future is not set yet, we are travelling through time and space. Which is true, we are. From the day we were born, we are time travelling. Very slowly. I mean, take me. Yorkshireman 66, that is the year I was born, the 66, so from 1966 to 2021, this took me 55 years, hence the ageing process, but you cannot deny we are travelling through time and space, the whole planet is travelling through time and space, so I'm right there, well I know I'm right there, on that one, but it all, it, you know, yeah. You know, so the past and the future is definitely infinite. If the past is infinite, how did we get here, get to today? Well, we got to today because there's always a bright future, and it's as simple as that. And my answer: because the future is not yet set, which in none of our futures is set. We choose the path to go down. So there you go. But the past has no start. We wouldn't be able to get to today. Who said the past has no start? Really, Lee? I told you the past and the future are infinite. It's a circle of life. You've never heard of it? Which it is. Well, I say it's a circle of life, but a lot of people say it's a straight line of life. Um, which it is. That, that's what I said. Well, basically what I meant by that is, you know, who said the past has no start? The past has, always has a start. I mean, you know, your life, as a start. World War Two as a start. That's in the past. But it still has a start. The sinking of the Titanic as a start. You know, it had a beginning before it led up to its sinking. So yes, we do have a start. And then he went so my mate went on then. So are you saying we will eventually go back to the Middle Ages? I'm not saying that we would. But this is the interesting answer, what I gave. And you got to remember, this is early early doors. This is early morning, getting my brain working. No, but we could go through a modern ice age when we was born. You move through time and space, hence the ageing process. We can only move forward slowly unless you have a time machine, which we don't, and we can only go forward. That's a circle of life. If we don't change our ways, we could end up back at the Ice Age with no technology and no one can beat Mother Nature, Lee, not even us. And I'm right there. You can't beat the, you know, the force, the winds and everything. That's what is Mother Nature. You can't beat that. If this planet decides to reset itself, then we would go through, I think, we'd go through a, what I would say a modern Ice Age. And it'll throw us right back. So we'd have no techno. There'd be no technology to be used. So we'd be right back 
to the beginning and we'd have to have this have a conversation without computers you know what I mean and I also do honestly think that we are relying too much on computers I, I, I honestly do do believe that I think artificial intelligence is a good thing but also it could be a bad thing because it could bring down humanity that's what I think <sighs> If we can travel faster than the speed of light, we can time travel. Einstein said it was impossible. Well, travelling at the speed of light is impossible, more or less. Well, it is. We haven't got the technology to do that yet. That, you know. But we can't yet. We don't have the technology yet. It is impossible. When Einstein was living, but we have moved on, we are slowly improving ourselves through new technology. But we are a long way... A way off time travel, Lee. Trust. I I have a degree in science. I do. I have an open university degree in this. Um so so yeah, we 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 can't time travel. I don't think we'll be able to time travel ever. I don't think that'll ever happen. As technology improves, we will our lives will speed up, which is the truth, because Right back from when I was born, from the seventies to eighties to now, our lives got uh, has got pretty fast. I must admit, we've got vehicles what can do over two hundred mile an hour. So we are moving in with technology, and this technology is coming from all over the world, Japan and things like that. Yeah, just think of it, Japan. They lost the world war. Their their country were nuked twice. But look around now. They've raised up, given us the age of the Japanese miracle, and look at the technology, what's been flooded to our countries, through them, through Korea, through other places. Even Germany, you know, UK and Germany have worked together to do Eurofighter. That was a good thing, it, it really was, and we need to continue these collaborations and things like that. Right, and then he went on to say, our perception of time is wrong. We see it as a timeline. It can't be. And then he had to go. Well, I don't know if he's heard this, but it is a timeline, most definitely, okay, mate? It depends on how you see see it. Everyone has a different point of view. Lee. And what I meant by that is, our perception of time is wrong. We see it as a timeline. It can't be. Well, it is. The only reason why we break it down to a timeline, so our, our brains can understand, it's a simple format. You know, timeline this to timeline that, it is a simple format. Yes, it is a timeline. There always will be a timeline. There, there was a time when you were born, and there'll be a time when you die. But that's not set in the future. We know we're going to die, but we don't know when, or how, and things like that. That's the scary bit. Um. So our perception is wrong. Well, I don't know how he sees time, but what I said is, it is a timeline. It, it, it is definitely what we class as a timeline. It, it, it definitely is, and it definitely will be. But, okay, mate, it depends on how you see everyone has a different point of view. Well, everyone's perception of time is completely different from mine. Um, and we got on to time travel. Now, if it weren't for Albert Einstein... I'll see if I can get Siri up. Hey Siri! Hey Siri! Hello Mark. How can I help? Who is Albert Einstein? Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist, widely acknowledged to be one of the greatest physicists of all time. Do you want me to keep reading? Yes, please. Einstein is known widely for developing the theory of relativity. But he also made important contributions to the development of the theory of quantum mechanics. Relativity and quantum mechanics are together the two pillars of modern physics. When did Albert Einstein die, uh, die, Siri? Hang on a minute. Hey, Siri! When did Albert Einstein die? When were he born? Hey, hey, Siri. 
It's annoying, this. When was Albert Einstein born? Okay, I found this on the web for it's annoying. When was Albert Einstein born? Check it out. No, you tell me. I don't know. Hey, city, wake up. When was Albert Einstein born? But you can change it in settings. I don't want to change it in settings. Oh, well. Hey, Siri. When was Albert Einstein born? What year? Albert Einstein was born March 14th, 1879. Thank you. Good night, Siri. Night, night, Siri. It looks like you haven't set up any home kit accessories. So there you go. So that's Albert Einstein. If it wasn't for Albert Einstein, we didn't have quantum things, it wouldn't have quantum mechanics, and now our modern society wouldn't go. So Albert Einstein is, is there on that one. So, and also, if you're talking about time travel, also, like, you know, like, like TV shows and things like that, why do you think, like, the science fiction TV show, like Doctor Who, it's always travelling on the Doctor's timeline? Think about it. He's past is definitely infinite than the future but what I'm saying is they're always traveling on the doctor's own timeline not your timeline but his timeline and it's like with quantum leap with Sam Beckett he can only travel within his own timeline so they're the rules of time travel at the moment we can't do time travel um, oh because they, they haven't made that breakthrough but that posed an interesting question and it's thanks to my mate Lee Roberts that I got this and, 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 and I've answered him as much as I can really on the subject. But yeah, time is, you know, the past is infinite. Well, it's as only as infinite as you are from when you are born to when you are... Uh, the universe is definitely infinite. It, it, it is always ongoing. It's expanding. It's always expanding. At one time they thought it was getting smaller but it's it's not it, it's not contracting it, it's stretching it's getting larger and larger and larger that is what you call infinite time and space and like it or not love it or lump love it or love it the whole planet and us are slowly traveling through time and space hence the aging process uh, well if you have liked this uh, particular video which i will be naming it do you believe in the unbelievable um please please give me a thumbs up please leave a like um please please subscribe if you are new please 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 hit the information bell and knit all that will let you know when i'm putting up another video and also please 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 share the video to twitter facebook and to your friends and family and things like that and also comment below that's important comment below now I must stress, the video you just watched is my own opinion. It is my own opinion to questions what was given by my by my good friend Lee Roberts. I've answered the, his questions. I don't think he's satisfied. But is our perception of a timeline wrong? No, I don't think it is. I, I honestly don't think it is wrong. I, I think the way we see time is a good thing. Um, we see time as 12 hours a day. In a 24 hour clock so we have 12 hours of daylight 12 hours of darkness and we do have a calendar what's 28 days long if you go that way you know we have per month you know december through to december well we have from january through to december that is a timeline so our perception is not wrong of a timeline at all so thank you for watching this video i hope like you found it interesting please like subscribe and please share the video and please comment the video but just remember this is my own this is only my own opinion and my own thoughts and just remember i have done an open university degree on this and when i presented my thesis you know my my work to that open university they were absolutely staggered of how i see us in the you know how i would see us in the future and things like that and the future is not much different from what we have today 
you know, everyone thought in the year 2000 we'd have flying cars. It hasn't happened. I don't think it will ever happen. But there you go. But I will never know. You know what I mean? So like I said, from the day I was born until now, it's took me 55 years to get here. That is the end the aging process. But it is time travel. You are travelling through time and space. Slowly you are travelling. You are slowly time. As I'm talking, I am travelling through time per second, per minute. So there you go. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye for now.